Welcome back. I'm Wally George, and this is Hot Seat. I'll tell you, we're here. We are talking about sexual harassment on the job and and the sexual harassment bill that was proposed here in California and could spread across the country where female employees could file sexual harassment charges against their employers and collect up to two hundred thousand dollars and I say that's ludicrous how about you Hey, well, no, you, know, you no, mentioned no. a compliment. You mentioned a compliment when an, employ when an employer compliments a person, okay, compliments a female. One, a compliment is one thing, and it leads on to something else. Now, you or, neither you or I was there when Clarence Thomas was behind closed doors with Anita Hill when he talked about long dong silver. Well, okay? Wait a minute. You, we, wait, neither one, nobody you and was I there. weren't there, wait so we minute, don't Mike, really know the Mike, truth. Mike, no, nobody was no. there, so why do you believe her and not him, you stupid dimwit? There's a, there's a shadow of a doubt. There was nobody there. There was nobody there. Anita Hill, first of all, this whole thing about Anita Hill and, and Judge Clarence Thomas was ridiculous. There were no witnesses. It was just one dingbat bringing up charges against this man, Clarence Thomas. And I say the whole thing should have been thrown out to begin with. Well, okay, hey. Her, her real problem. No witnesses. I, I admit, I admit, no witnesses. Yeah. Nobody to cooperate. It's one woman saying things against him. Why in the world did it make such a big deal? And that's the same thing that could happen with this bill. Well, the only fact I'll really agree with on that, Wally, is the fact that by waiting eight years to bring up her case, that was the killer for Anita Hill. Most Americans sat back and said, well, why did she wait eight years? She waited almost case? ten years. Okay, and plus the fact she had no cohorts or anybody close to her. Generally, women have someone, one of their good friends, they tell about, okay? She didn't have complete evidence, but All we right. don't know for sure that things weren't said. All we right. have no idea. Washington sent the wrong damn message to the women of America, and Pete Wilson, hey, Pete Wilson has not got the guts to stand up and give women protection. They have to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt in the court of law. Once they prove it, then they should be awarded, and the perpetrator right, wait, should be shot. Wait a minute, wait a, wait a minute, Mike. How did it, wait, wait. Just, wait, hold it. Now, let's examine that. Just, just how do you prove something? Okay, now, Anita Hill had no witnesses. If this law is signed into, uh, into law across this country, in, in many states, what will happen? As I said earlier, sure, you got to prove your case, right? You got to prove. So, if a woman knows that if she wins her case, she can get $200,000. What is to stop her for, for uh, doing a little work in the office, lining up two or three of her friends at the office to be witnesses, to go into court? If a woman makes charges, brings up three witnesses from the office, says, yes, I saw him sexually harass her, she's going to win the case, and they can just be conspiring against the boss, and that's the kind of thing we cannot allow to happen in America. They can set the boss up. I, I don't know too many women, money aside or whatever, that would risk their reputation and put themselves through the traumatic situation it puts them through. They get they get damaged. They're, they're psychologically, their profiles are ruined. Wait their careers are ruined. Wait. They go you, through a lot of problems, woman, okay? Do you think any woman would stop to get $200,000? Oh. Hey, well, you'd be surprised. Oh. Hey, a lot of people have a hell of a lot more pride than some people do, okay? And for the sake of money, they would. What about the men? Who, who in America who are sexually harassed by women at their office? What about that, Mike? Hey, I, 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 I Wally, I don't, I, I don't see them. Hey, I don't see the men lining up in courtrooms, you guys. So come on, you know. Yeah, well, you know, listen. Make sense to me at all. You know why? Listen. And, and here's why. It, it's a double standard. It's all baloney. You see, it, if a woman happens to call a guy sexy, do you get upset with that? No, of course not. Well, yeah, I accept you. A compliment is one thing, but the next thing you know, it's all, hey, when are we going to go out? The next thing is one thing. It's a no, great wait, wait a minute. Hey, wait it goes too wait far. A minute, These guys have got to prove their manhood by taking down the women. They're bad, or, they're bad or husbands. Well, they can't, I have news for you, pal. Home. You can never prove your manhood. I'm not on trial here, Wally. I am not on trial. Here's the whole thing that I'm trying to say is... There, there are, there are men who are sexually harassed by their female em employers. But you know what? These women are so, so many female employees. They say they're being sexually harassed. But you know that women like to be whistled at, don't they? Yeah! Now you know. With class, Wally. With class. Let's okay? re-examine. Let's redefine what sexual harassment really means. Do you know, this is so ludicrous, do you know that if an employer happens to call his female employee honey or deer, he can be guilty of sexual harassment? Oh, 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 oh come on. Hey, 
Wally, that is a complete and total falsehood. No, it isn't. Hey, there's no it way. Was, it, it was it was listed. Hey, it was listed among a whole list of what is considered to be sexual harassment on the job. Also, if a an employer happens to call an adult woman a girl, that is sexual harassment. Oh, give me a break. I'll tell you right now, Wally. Once again, it comes it, it comes within the context of the conversation. What I don't understand is why the conservative Republicans, why why is this movement so insensitive and so chauvinistic about women? What are they afraid of? Why don't they give women some rights where they can defend themselves and send the correct men? Washington made a big mistake. They gave Clarence Thomas a break. They should have. They made a big mistake and sent the wrong message to the women of America. Let's give what, them a chance. What, Let's give what, them what, what's this wrong message that the they sent? What is this wrong message? The wrong message is, is if you come up and you try and contest somebody, you will not only lose, you will be belittled, you'll be berated, you'll lose your profession no, and be made no, look like no, a fool. No, like you did to Anita Hill. Here's what I say. No, no. Anita Hill and others in the office. Do you know what? When Anita Hill said that she was so distraught over the sexual harassment by Clarence Thomas, they asked her under oath, did you ever go to Clarence Thomas and ask him to stop? And she said, no. Finger. Now, I say, I say, if a woman is being treated by her boss in a way that he, she doesn't like, don't you think before she brings any charges, she should go up and ask him to please stop it? But no. They don't have to do that. All the guy has to do is call her honey or tell her she looks sexy, and bingo, she may have a $200,000 lawsuit, and I say, that is baloney. Okay, I'll, I'll, all I say, Wally, all I say is there are very, very few women that will go ahead and do something like that. They have to have conclusive evidence. Lady Justice is blind. I just told you, you idiot. They I have, just told they have, you. They have to have. They can get. That's inconclusive. They can that's, work together. They can. They can get. The, don't nod your head at me. Or that's inconclusive, though. What about a man's patterns? You know what? what about a man's hey. patterns? Hey, hold on. Every time he nods his head, like that, I can hear the marbles shaking in his head. What, I, what I'm trying, what I'm trying to get across, hey, what I'm trying to get a, across to your drug dead brain is, is the fact that women can conspire in the office and get fellow employees to corroborate, corroborate the, their accusations. Unless that man's got a history of sexual offenses in the past and a historical pattern is built up from his past when he's done, that woman has no case at all and you all know right, damn let, well she doesn't. Let me get your opinion on, on this. Let me get your opinion on, on this. Howard Rosenberg, hold it guys. Howard Rosenberg in the Los Angeles Times points out that mini skirts send the wrong message to to men at the office. How do you feel about that? Mini skirts are back in fashion. If that's the case, then your suit sends the wrong message to anybody else, too. It's a fashion. They can be allowed. Women, hey, women should hey, be allowed to wear whatever they want to wear. Well, I don't understand this. When a woman wears a, a tight micro mini skirt, that is sending a message, well, then, isn't it? Well, then you might as well say, hey, hey, then if you say that, hey, hey if, you, if he says something like that, then you might as well say that a woman deserves to get raped, too, if she looks nice. Oh, that's exactly no, I didn't, saying, isn't I didn't say that. I didn't say What's that. What's the difference? What's the difference? It is a dip because when a girl comes to work, we'll go a little long on this, okay, Greg? Uh, when a woman comes comes to work in a micro mini skirt and a tight sweater, and then she gets whistled at or called sexy or whatever, she's asking for that, and I say it, that kind of thing is just stupid. And let's go to the audience. We, we have a girl. Come on up. Let's go to the audience. Okay. Yes. Yes. Come up to the, to the podium, please. Okay. Here she is. Can I have your name and, and your question? Go ahead. It's Adrian. Okay, Adrian, go ahead. Uh, first of all, I just want to say Anita Hill. I want to know why she followed him all the way around. From job the place. to job, yeah. right, yeah. After she got sexually harassed, you know. And then I also want to say that there's a fine line between it, you know. Like Wally was saying, I mean, if you get whistled at, that's sexual harassment. And it is, it is. If he calls you honey, she can sue for sexual harassment. The interpretation you know? is critical, and I understand and that that's, was her, that's that was her wrong. talk, idiot. Well, go ahead. <laughs>
ask you, what's your, what's your, your first name? Adrian. Now, if, if, if you're at work and, and your boss happens to call you honey or dear or sweetheart, would you feel that he was sexually harassing no. you? No. He was just being, aff being affectionate and, and using... Mean, if a girl goes to work in a miniskirt, she wants to look nice. That, I mean, you know... Right, she, she does. Wants she, to look sexy. she doesn't deserve she wants... to be abused, though, does she? Well, there's a fine line. The like interpretation. I'm sexually, I mean... A abuse is not calling her sexy or whistling at her. It's how it's said, Wally. It's how it's said. What if she, well, the guy comes up, puts his arms around her, and says the same thing to her? Is, it, is that the same thing as making a compliment from across hey, the room? Hey, hey well, my, I saw some guys putting his, his, his arms around you out in the hallway, <laughs> and you didn't say anything either. Okay, yes, yes. Hi, right. Wally! Okay. This is Gil. Yeah. Go ahead. My name is Gil. I'm from La Habra. Yeah, Gil. I to say that um, the majority of women that uh, do... Shh, shh, shh. The major shh. The majority, right down, of, the majority of women that do claim sexual harassment, most of them do not have any solid proof. That's, that's right. right. You've got to have solid proof. I agree. And the facts. And if they're able to prove it in the court of law, it's the facts. Right. If they're able to... Right, right, and the whole thing is... is, is Real question. Is okay. if they want proof, you know, they can conspire with their fellow workers and, and you know, do a job on their boss and it isn't fair. I just say this, there should be no sexual harassment legislation. I think, I believe the women in America can take care of themselves. Yeah! I'll be right back.